New at 10, in less than 24 hours, polls will open for municipal elections across North Alabama. Polling places will look very different due to the coronavirus pandemic. Way 31's Megan Reyna joins us live outside of Madison polling location. She has more on how cities across the region have prepared for Election Day. I can tell you after talking to four different city clerks tonight that municipal during this municipal election mail in voting seems to be more popular than in years past here in Madison at City Hall. I actually got a look inside to see what it would be like for voters who decide to come to the polls tomorrow. I've always passed in person. I just feel it's my duty to vote. And on Tuesday, Lyle Shields will get to fulfill his duty. The Madison resident showed up to City Hall to make sure he had the right date and location Monday afternoon. If you do not come in and you do not vote, whether it be mail in or walk in, then you have you're not using your voice. Shield says he feels more confident voting in person, but understands those who choose to mail in their ballot. In fact, in Madison, 405 absentee ballots were sent out this election. In Huntsville, that number is about 15,000. The Huntsville City Clerk said more people have mailed in their ballots ahead of time due to the pandemic. Over in the Shoals and Florence, the City Clerk said more than 400 ballots have been returned so far. In Sand Mountain, in the city of Boaz, about 60 ballots are in. The City Clerk said that's still more mail in votes than in the past. Back in Madison, Melanie Willard, the city clerk, spent months preparing for this election. We're working very hard to, to do everything we can to keep things disinfected and uh, keep them safe. Face masks aren't required, but encourage. X's on the ground will help keep voters six feet apart, and poll workers will have face shields, gloves, and masks. And voters like Shields are thankful for these measures. I am in that high risk category. I'm 76 years old. I have diabetes. Each city clerk wasn't able to tell me how many voters there are expecting tomorrow, but like here in Madison, there are several protocols in place to ensure people can exercise their right safely. Reporting live in Madison, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.